بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم We greet you with السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته on this the seventh day of the blessed month of Ramadan for the first six days we have been reciting the Quran and we've been reciting the long surahs Surah Al-Baqarah, of course, every day we will begin with Surah Al-Fatiha. On the first day, Surah Al-Baqarah. On the second day, Surah Al-Imran. On the third day, Surah Al-Nisa. On the fourth day, Surah Al-Ma'idah. On the fifth day, Surah Al-Am. And yesterday, on Surah Al-A'raf. And these six long surahs corresponded to the first six days of creation six long days because we are a people who recite the Quran in order to live with the system of time which Allah has given. We did not cut, we did not take part of any surah, chop it, because this was prohibited in the Quran. We recited the whole of Al-Baqarah, the whole of Al-Imran, etc. It is in Surah Al-Hijrah of the Quran that Allah gave us this prohibition. And he says, I give you only the name of the surah, not the number of the ayahs, that's your homework. And say to them, O Muhammad, I am a warner. I have been sent to warn, and when I warn, I do so in a manner which is plain and clear. So you have no excuses. What is the warning? The warning is sent down to a people called Al Muqtasimin. Who are the Muqtasimi. The Quran answers, Alladheena ja'alul, <coughs> excuse me, Alladheena ja'alul Quran a'iddeen, they are people who chop the Quran into pieces. For Rabbika, O Muhammad, alayhi salatu wa salam, I take an oath, an oath by your Rabb, O Muhammad, Alayhi salatu wa salam. La nas'alanna hum ajma'een. I'm going to question every single one of them. Bima kanu ya'amalun. For what they have done to this Quran. Chopping it into bits and pieces. So we don't do that. We recited the whole of Al-Baqarah on the first day. The whole of Ali Imran on the second day, etc. And now on the seventh day, we recite Surah Al-Anfal, which we find, strangely so, to be a short surah, shorter than the rest. <coughs> and then we find that the surah after Al-Anfal, at tawbah does not begin with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Every surah of the Quran begins with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Who can deny that? But Surah to Tawbah does not begin with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Is this an accident? No, it's not. For those who have knowledge, we know that Allah has deliberately not put Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim at the beginning of Tawbah because of methodology of recitation of the Quran. That is the reason why there is no Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim at the beginning of Tawbah because Allah wants us to join these two surahs for our Jews on the seventh day. If you have another explanation, Go ahead and give it. This is our explanation, and Allah knows best. And so now, we want to remind you, before we begin the study of the Quran, we want to remind you that it is a part of the divine wisdom that you cannot study the Quran 
even after all these preliminary works that we have done so far, you cannot study the Quran unless you are reciting the Quran. And when you recite the Quran, <coughs> excuse me, you must recite it the way that Allah recited it. And only after you recite it the way that Allah recited it, only then can you study it. Where is the proof? It is there in Surah Al Qiyamah. The Prophet والسلام, is listening while Allah is reciting the Quran. Did you hear that? While Allah Himself is reciting the Quran. Did Allah ever recite the Quran? Yes, it's there in the Quran. Why don't you do your homework? But he's hearing verses of the Quran not yet revealed to him in the form of wahi. And so he's hastening his tongue to try to memorize. And Allah says to him, La tuharrik bihi lisanaka li ta'jalabi. No, 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 don't do that, O Muhammad. Inna, inna alayna jama'ahu. We are the ones, we will gather all of the revelations together as a whole. Wa Quran, and then we will recite the whole Quran to you, O Muhammad. For and when we have recited the whole Quran to you, O Muhammad, you must follow that way of recitation. So now we have one method through which the Quran comes down, and it is wahi, or revelation to the heart. And when it comes in revelation to the heart, then he, the Prophet dictates it and describes, record it, because he could not read and write. But there is, in addition, another way in which the Quran was coming down. It was coming down every Ramadan, and it was the whole Quran that was being recited by Allah through the angel Jibra'il salam. So then, what about this? Here he is receiving the Quran in Wahi, and then it's recorded. But he does not know what is the rest to come. And here he is re receiving, listening to the whole Quran being re recited to him. So does he not remember the whole Quran? Now we have to go to Surah Al A'la, where Allah says, Sanukuri Oka, we will teach you to recite, O Muhammad. Recite what? Our answer is the Quran. If you have another answer, go ahead and give it. If you have another answer, go ahead and give it. Our answer is the Quran. Sanukri uka falatansa. We will recite the Quran for you, O Muhammad. And when we recite the Quran to you, you will not forget. Falatansa. Illa masha Allah, except that which we ordain that you forget. So, what is it that was recited of the Quran to the Prophet, by Allah Ta'ala, and then he was made to forget? Answer It was that part of the Quran which was recited to him every Ramadan, every night of Ramadan, which had not as yet been sent down to him as wahi. Then Allah goes on to say, فَإِذَا كَرَأْنَاهُ فَتَّبِي قُرْآنَ And when we have recited the Qur'an, O Muhammad, you must follow that way of recitation. And it's only after that, then Allah says, Umma, in arena bayan, and now we will explain the Quran to you. So the recitation of the Quran comes before the explanation of the Quran. You must recite the Quran first before you can study the Quran.
And when you recite the Quran, you must recite the Quran the way Allah recited it. Why? Because Allah gave that order. فَإِذَا كَرَأْنَاهُ فَاتَّبِعَ Quran. And when we have recited the Quran, you must follow that way of recitation. And so now we are finished with our preliminaries for the study of the Quran, this blessed Ramadan. Those of you who are beginners, the others who have been listening and learning for years, now they already know this, that you cannot study the Quran unless you are reciting the Quran. Every day you must recite your Jews of the Quran. And when you recite the Quran, you must recite it the way Allah recited it, meaning you never chop any surah. You always complete the surah in your recitation of the Jews for the day. Yes, when you are performing salat, you can take a passage of the Quran, that's okay. But when you are reciting your Jews of the Quran, to complete, to khatam the Quran every month, every month, then you have to follow the method of Allah of never cutting a surah. And you must know which is the Jews for every day of the Quran. If you recite the Quran this way, you eventually live with the moon. In Urdu they say, Chan ke saat jina hai. The men live with the sun. The men have to work and toil during the day. So the Quran likens the male to the sun. And the Quran likens or gives the analogy of a woman to the night. Because the night is cool and calm and quiet and shrouded and beautiful. And so the woman is like the night and the man is like the day. But also the woman more than the man. The woman is like the moon. She lives with the moon. She can teach you about the moon. And so Ramadan comes to teach us to live with the moon. And when you live with the moon, you'll never feel, you'll never experience time moving faster and faster. A whole day, a whole year, sorry, passes like a month. A whole month like a week, a whole week like a day the fast lane of life that is when you say goodbye to the moon and you say goodbye to the system of time in islam but when you live with the moon and you live with the system of time which allah has given then time will move deliciously the way time should move and you have all the time in the world to do everything that you want to do may allah bless you this ramadan to remain faithful to the Quran. May Allah bless you this Ramadan to recite the Quran as it ought to be recited. May Allah bless you this Ramadan to complete the recitation of the Quran before the new moon comes. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.